Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before I begin, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's watching. The channel just hit 1,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I never thought as many people who would be interested in watching me talk about stuff I buy every month. So thank you so much. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscription button down below so you don't miss any more videos. As promised, I will be filming a full Sonic Collection tour. It's going to be very thorough, so it's going to take a little time, and it's probably going to be multiple parts, but I want to make sure I cover everything. And also, at some point, uh, once I finish compiling the footage, I'll be releasing a vlog of my trip to Japan with Treasure Hunting Sonic. And without any further delay, this is the April 2023 Sonic Collection Update, Part 1. Okay, so my table's really full. That's the reason I'm doing this in two parts, is because there's a lot of stuff that's off camera right now that doesn't fit on this table. Uh, there are some stuff that I showed off in my Japan merch haul video, and you'll be seeing some more of that stuff later. We're going to go more in depth on that stuff. So let's go ahead and just get started. Um, let's start with this. I think I might already have this, but I couldn't find it. I tried looking for it up here, but I just couldn't find it. This is the Hot Wheels Tails car. So it's just a little tiny car. It's supposedly the car that Tails drives when he actually does drive a car. Normally we see him flying a plane, but it's a little cute car. Okie dokie. Next I have this water bottle. So I didn't actually find this water bottle. My mom did. I don't remember if she found it in Burlington or in TJ Maxx. Uh, you can probably tell by this price sticker right here. It's $3.99. Uh, I don't remember where it's from, but it's pretty cool. It's made of plastic and it's got Sonic and Tails on it. Okay. I'm gonna stay up front here because there's stuff up here that I cannot access from back there. I've got some swim goggles. Okay, so I found these at TJ Maxx. Uh, they were $5.99. I actually can't swim, so I won't be using these, but I thought it was cool that they existed. You got Sonic here doing his figure eight, you got some rings, and you can kind of see it's the same on the other side. And swim goggles, here it is on the back. It's got Sonic on the band. It's a pretty cool item. And I got something from the Cospa store in Japan. So I did show this off in the other video, but this is a closer look at it. It's an acrylic uh, keychain. It's got Sonic wearing some headphones. Really cool item. I love this stuff from the Cospa store. Okay, so I do have a couple more of these like uh, 3D shadow box style frames. Uh, one is from Dee Dee's Discounts and the other one is from Ross. So this one I really like a lot. It's Sonic in City Escape. And this is from Dee Dee's Discount. It was $7.99. I love this kind of 3D shadow box type thing. It's really cool. And this one right here says class of 1991. It's got classic Sonic. This one is from Ross. It's a little more expensive at $8.99, but still really cool. I'm gonna stay on the topic of wall fixtures and do these long uh, kind of canvases. So you can see here, there's a bunch of different sketch type things of classic Sonic in the background. And I don't know, it's pretty cool. My biggest thing with these is I don't really have any place for them on my walls anymore, so I'm gonna have to get creative. And this is the other one. This one's kind of cool. It just has Sonic inside of the letters, and then it's surrounded by rings, so it's pretty cool also. I found both of these at Burlington. They were both $14.99. All right, staying on the wall topic, we do have this item. Uh, I saw some other people find this at Burlington, so naturally I had to go find it also. It, it almost looks like it's aluminum or plastic, but it's under glass, so let me show you that. So you can kind of see the reflection. It looks like it's plastic. I think I've actually seen this without the glass. Here, you can kind of see it's it's under glass, but yeah, I don't know, it's a little interesting, but it's got classic Sonic and it's got kind of like that old school uh, special stage design from Sonic 1, so it's pretty cool. So these are a couple of items that I've just neglected to pick up but uh, these are Tails and Dr. Eggman nano block items. And they're from the Kawada company. Basically, they're like Legos, but they're nano blocks. Okay, so here's Tails. And here's Eggman. They're kind of funny. Okay, so right here I have an interesting item. This is a 100 games collection. This is another item that I actually didn't find myself. My mom found it. And again, I don't remember where she found it. I think it was either at TJ Maxx or Burlington. I'll have to ask her. But there's a bunch of different tiny board games in here. So you can see on here, there's like a different version of Sorry on here. There's some other stuff that I really just don't know what they are. 
Um, we got snakes and ladders, tic-tac-toe, I think, maybe. Oh, actually, it says it on the back here. So we've got Link 4, Link 4. We've got Solitaire, Nine Men's Morris. I've never heard of that before. Oh, jellies and ladders, okay. Well, tic-tac-toe, uh, let's see. Chess, they have chess on here. So maybe there's, maybe there's chess pieces in here. I don't know, I have to look. And Game of Goose. I don't know what that is either. So some weird games in here. All right, next up, I have a pair of flip-flops. I found these at Burlington. They're a classic Sonic. Uh, just have the same pattern of Sonic on them. And they have the classic Sonic logo on the uh, foot loops over here. So here they are. They're, they don't look particularly comfortable. They're actually really hard. You can, they're not really, <laughs> there's no cushion whatsoever. But they do suffice as flip-flops. And these are the biggest sizes I could find. This is a size 10, I think. But uh, I don't really know what that means in the world of flip-flops. But I do like the the foot loop here. It's pretty, it's pretty soft, actually. So it's a pretty cool item. OK, right here is another item I've been neglecting to get. It is the Sonic Eggmobile battle set. This is something I actually really wanted because I really, really liked the idea of having an Eggmobile toy. And the fact that they made them into a bunch of the different bosses from the old Genesis games is really, really cool. I don't really plan on taking this out of the box, but just the fact that you get the Eggmobile and it can turn into the boss from Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, and well, I guess that's it. But it's still really nice. And it does have a little holder here that holds them up into the air. So it is really nice. It's from Jack Specific as usual. And I don't know, this is just something I've always wanted. Okay, next up we have the Sonic Uno set. So most people have probably played Uno at least once. Uh, they do different collaborations with different, uh, I guess, series, and they did one with Sonic. Here you go. Uh, it's just really, I mean, it's basically just Uno. It's got different characters on the cards, different colors, different characters maybe. Looks like back here we've got Super Sonic on the Wilds and also Metal Sonic, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I did get this at Marshalls for $4.99. All right, next I have this poster from the Moore Art Gallery. It's the Eileen Steinbeck uh, Metallic Gold poster. So you can't see it because I have it framed, but the entire back of this poster is metallic gold sheen. I don't know why they did that because you can't see it, but on the front, it does have kind of that gold texture to it, and I'll show that to you up close. So the poster itself is just black. You can see that there. You can see the separation between the frame back and the poster. And on the front, there is this kind of gold I don't know, maybe it doesn't reflect because of the frame, but it is actually very sparkly up close. And it does have kind of some Green Hill vibes up here. It also did come with this sticker. Uh, it says more art gallery on it and it has Sonic's head. So I thought this was a pretty nice touch that they added as well. It is numbered. Uh, I do have number, it's like 57 out of 125. It's written in some gray pencil, so you probably can't see it. Okay, next up I have a few special items here. Special shout out to Treasure Hunting Sonic. He actually gave me these because they were leftovers from, I guess, a press release kit that they had sent him. Uh, this is from Lime Crime. They had a line of hair color and also liquid liner that they released. All right, so this is the Amy one. This is unicorn hair color. So uh, I'm assuming it's some kind of pinkish hair color. It's really cool. I don't know what it looks like, but... They do have something for every character in the line, I believe. So this is the shadow one. I'm assuming it's black hair dye. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if you get it, could get her like a red stripe like shadow does. So these are the liquid liners. There's a Tails one and a Sonic one. Not sure if it's like eyeliner or something else, but could be interesting. I don't use liquid liners, so I'm not sure. So finding new watches is kind of few and far between these days, but I do have a couple to show off this month. There is a light thing here. I don't know which button I'm pressing. I don't even th oh yeah, there you go. You can barely see it. But there is a light that's going off. And then there are some other stuff here. There's like a stopwatch and there's modes. You can actually do stuff with this watch, which is kind of different from the other watches. Yeah, so it does stuff. And then the band is just, I think, sonic over and over. So it's kind of cool. So this is a spinner watch. It's actually got a good spin to it. Uh, there were several that had this kind of design with sonic and tails on the front. I picked this one up because it actually has Eggman on the inside, which I thought was pretty unique. You never really see a collab like that on a watch. So. All right, so with that, everything that's left on the table, I did pick up in Japan. I'm actually gonna pick up the camera and show them to you up close because it's gonna be a lot easier that way. All right, so in Japan, we did go to a lot of different used game stores, used bookstores, and that's really where you find a lot of the deals. I did find this uh, Sonic 
game. It's meant to be uh, Sonic Unleashed, but they called it Sonic World Adventure, I guess, in the Japanese version. The title was just too funny, I just couldn't pass it up. So right here is the Japanese version of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Uh, Treasure Hunting Sonic actually found this first, but he let me buy it, so that was nice of him. Uh, it's kind of beat up. I have no idea. It's probably missing a lot of stuff, but it is pretty cool. The back is very, very classic looking, so it is a really cool thing to have in the collection. Finally, there is this Sonic 2. I believe this is the Game Gear version, but it is very classic, and it costs 2,390 yen, which actually was 10% off. Okay, these next few items I picked up in Joypolis. So we might as well just start with the Joy Polis guide itself. When you walk in, there's a bunch of these uh, pamphlets that show you kind of the map of the place. But the real thing here is Sonic on the back. It's really the only reason why I picked it up. And yeah, I definitely just pocketed a bunch of these. Now in the store itself, they did have a few Sonic items. I picked up most of them. These are just buttons from the Sonic movie. You've got Sonic and Tails. Uh, there's nothing particularly special about them. They're just buttons. This is actually an acrylic stand, I think. You're supposed to pop out all of these, and then they go on this little base right here. So we've got a ring, we've got Don't Stop, and we've got Sonic himself. But I didn't want to lose all of the background, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. This right here is just an acrylic keychain, I think, of the 25th anniversary. We've got Classic Sonic, we've got Modern Sonic, and we've got Boom Sonic, looks like. So yeah, it's got the 25th anniversary logo on it, so that's cool. This, I showed these off. For, there's no actual Sonic on it. You actually get this when you fail to win a Sonic plush. It's a postcard, I think, but I have no idea who this little fluffy guy is. So if you know, let me know. Okay, so here's a close-up of the only Sonic gotchas that we found in Japan. I believe they're just little keychains that are made of plastic. We'll find out here in a second. This is the entire set. Uh, we've got Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, Shadow, and Amy. When we were trying to win them, Amy was the hardest one to get. I think Amy was the only one that Treasure Hunting Sonic was unable to get. Uh, but I did, I basically used all of my loose change to try to get them all. And he did actually trade me a shadow because I ended up getting extra knuckles. Pretty sure it's just plastic. And it has a little charm in the middle. But the front half of this plastic is see-through, so you can see the stars and the pink and all that, so it's actually kind of cool. But I don't think there's any point to actually using it as a keychain. And then speaking of gotchas, there is this other one here. A Treasure Hunting Sonic actually found this for me and I bought it. Uh, it's actually a Mega CD in a gotcha form. And it's the Sonic CD version. Uh, you might be able to see it right there. So that's a sticker. It's supposed to go on this little disc right here that you can barely see. And then supposedly you can put it inside the Game Gear when you put it all together. But. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. And this right here is something I've wanted for quite a while, actually. This is a token that you use to play the Sonic games at Joypolis in the uh, Sonic Carnival. And so it's pretty cool. It actually says Carnival Coin on it. Sega. And what is this? Amusement only, okay. And it's got Sonic on the other side. So it's pretty cool. Final items I have here, I've actually never opened. I got these at Joypolis. They're blind bags for buttons for, I think, Sonic... I want to say Sonic Forces. I'm not sure, but I'm going to open them up right now. Okay. So, let's see what we get. I don't know how many different kinds there are, but at least get something. I don't know. These are... Okay. We got Tails. Look at that. He doesn't look very happy. All right, next up. I just grabbed four randomly, so if we get doubles, well, oh well. All right, we got Classic Sonic. Pretty cool, he's also looking angry. Okay, number three. And, oh, we got a double. Looks like we got another Tails. Oh well. And last one. And we got, oh, we got Modern Sonic. Pretty cool. All right, so we hit on three out of the four, not bad. This is what we ended up with. Pretty cool. Okay, I know my table's a mess. I'm not gonna worry about it because we're done with part one of the collection update. I'm gonna clear all this stuff off. I'm gonna get ready for part two. Make sure you stick around for that because there is a rather large item 
that I've had for quite some time that I need to show off. So until next time, stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.